today, we're gonna meme it up a bit. I know you guys like memes. I know you do. That's all you do. You, you sit on your phone and look at memes. I do it too. So today, we're covering the memes of Titanfall. The Grenadier Weapons. I'm your coach, Crip6, your mystical guide to Titanfall, and let's get started. Now, this category is a lot of fun to use, but it's also pretty difficult to use. You have to learn to use the, your weapons to their full potential, and we'll be talking about how to unlock that potential. If you want to see me mess up with these weapons at all, follow me at twitch.tv forward slash crypt6. The link is in the description below, and we'll see how that goes. First up is the Sidewinder SMR. This gun shoots small rocket-propelled missiles that will absolutely slap your enemies around. This is a projectile weapon and has a weird flight time for me. You can get used to it though, it's not that bad. I recommend using this gun more as an SMG than anything else. Just barrel stuff people and you're golden. No huge reason to, reason to ADS with this gun, it's just really, foca just really focus on getting close to your enemies. If you're ADSing, you're just minimizing your spread, but it doesn't really matter that much. This also does great consistent damage against Titans, especially when amped. So if you're playing like LTS or something like that, pull this out in like an A wall, you're gonna absolutely melt health bars, dude. It's gonna be crazy. This is well suited for both campers and flyers. Campers can use it like an LMG and just pour shots into a concentrated area and shred a ton of players. And flyers can use it as an SMG and have just a f good fun time with it. Next is the EPG. My personal favorite of the Grenadier weapons. This gun is just fun to use. It has a pretty strong splash damage, and as long as your shots are close to the enemy, it will take two shots to kill them. If you manage to score a direct hit on a pilot with the EPG, it will one-shot them. The balls of energy have a weird and slow projectile bullet speed, so it does take a pretty long time to learn to lead your shots, but it you can get the hang of it pretty well. This gun I turn to if I want to nerf myself a little bit or perform a little worse but still have fun playing the game. I recommend slapping extra ammo or speed loader on there because you're going to be reloading a lot if you're just spamming spamming it on the ground. The trick for this gun is getting above your enemies and shooting down at them. This way even if you miss your direct hit you'll still get some splash damage down on them. Campers can use this gun if they learn to lead their shots well but this thing is just so much fun for flyers. Just so much fun. Now for the softball, the salt ball. The gun shoots sticky t uh, timed grenades. So you shoot the gun, the grenade hits something, it waits a second, and then it blows up. If you direct hit somebody, this will one shot, and it you can splash damage kill pilots, it's just really hard to get splash damage kills with this. I personally have a love-hate relationship with this weapon because I love shooting the, th the thing and blowing stuff up, but I have no idea how to aim it or get direct hits or anything. But anyways, it's a lot of fun, and I highly recommend slapping speed loader onto this, because if not, you're just going to be sitting there and pushing grenades into the gun, just pushing them in. And the reload time's just nasty if you don't have speed loader. For flyers, this is a weapon that is a ton of fun and can be pretty useful. Campers can use this, but it's going to be kind of difficult to get your shots timed, timed up correctly and led correctly. You can make people rage with this gun if you're any good with it, with it and that's why it's nicknamed the soft, the salt ball. The final Grenadier weapon for this video is the Cold War. The Complex Complicator. People constantly grapple to the rafters on Complex and rain death down from above. You, you, know the, you know the players I'm talking about. They can do it with the EPG too, but the Cold War is just even worse. It's a burst fire weapon and shoots, for projecti shoots four projectile energy shots. So if you're long distance away from your enemy, you do need to learn to lead your shots. And it's really hard to direct hit people with this. It's the splash damage machine, so you need to be above your enemies. I would suggest extra ammo on this gun just so you can have a couple extra bullets. Without it, uh, Cold War just feels like it runs out of ammo way too quickly. The trick to this gun is staying above and inflicting splash damage since it's nearly impossible to get those direct hits. One cool trick is you can actually cancel your shot by meleeing after you pull the trigger but before the bullet actually comes out. So you pull the trigger and then you melee and it cancels your shot. It's, it's really effect, It's really useful in certain situations. Campers, you're gonna wanna stay away from this this one since it, it'll be hard to stay above the flyers. And the gun can be a lot of fun for flyers on maps where the weapon is actually a reasonable choice, like complex or I've seen I'm too OP absolutely shred people on glitch with this. There are other maps just find what fits for, for you. 
Anyway, guys, that's my video on Grenadier weapons. Make sure you join all the communities below. I'll see you on Twitch or in the next video. Just come hang out. Talk to me one-on-one -on, -one on Twitch. And I'm your coach, Crypt6. Keep learning.